Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Rich, you want me to? All the meeting to order was the meeting properly noticed. Yes, it was. Roll call. Josh Pozdowski. Bob Rabarski. <laughs> yes. Rick Pease. Yes. Marge Edwards. Yes. Gordy Carlson. Yes. Jerry Harvey Beaversdorf. Yes. Becky Pease. Yes. Thank you. Um, can I have a motion to approve the agenda, please? So moved. Second. Harry. Motion by Grabarski, seconded by Beaversdorf. All in favor? Aye. Um, Aye. Opposed? Discuss and or act on the purchase of eight GMC terrain. Kyle, are you going to bring this up to date on that? Yep. So the reason that we had to have the meeting in such a pinch is because um, orders need to be in by March 23rd. We were just notified, I think, last week, Wednesday, that GMC terrains were available. I contacted Kelly to see if those would be um, a good alternative to the Malibus. Um, and she agreed that an all-wheel drive uh, GMC terrain would work for their needs. Um, however, I only received one quote initially, and that was from Napleton. They're the uh, dealer that Wisconsin awards the contracts to, but they did not have GMC terrains on the um, uh, on the contract on the state website. So I reached out to Wheelers in Wisconsin Rapids um, to get a, another quote. Um, their quote was for thirty-two thousand eight ninety-five. And Napleton's was for $27,466.75. Um, we had budgeted $220,000 for vehicles, and purchasing eight GMC terrains would be just under that $220,000 amount. Um, and I think the plan is then we would get rid of three Malibus. Is that accurate, Kelly? We would keep two Malibus um, and the us. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah. <clears throat> how much how much of these over budget? Well, so in the budget, we were gonna purchase 10 vehicles for twenty two thousand dollars. So they're about five thousand dollars over what we had initially estimated for vehicles. So we brought it down to purchasing eight of them rather than 10. Yeah, eight are sufficient. You yeah. do know that raises the question of why you would go by 10. Well, we would keep two equinoxes and the equinoxes and two now. I saw them like that. <laughs> Life is complicated. So sophisticated. <laughs> we would keep two of the Malibus and one Equinox until we would have a full fleet. What will be the purpose of this vehicle for traveling for where? <clears throat> we are using these vehicles in lieu of mileage. Um, so staff are using them for client meetings, client transportation. We use them for vehicles on wheels routes. Um, 
trainings, but primarily client home visits um, and transporting our, our clients. Aren't a lot of the Meals on Wheels transporting with their own vehicles? Uh, right now, the majority of our Meals on Wheels routes are with their fleet vehicles. Kelly, uh, on the Meals on Wheels, um, what's the demand on, on those meals and so forth? We're, the reason I bring that up is we got the skillet working with us, and of course, you also have it right at the Moon Center, correct? Uh, anywhere else other than those two sites? Right now, those are the two congregate sites. Uh, we're required to have a full-time congregate site in order to do the Meals on Wheels home deliver meal program. So... What does that mean? <laughs> in order to deliver meals to people who are unable to leave their home, who are homebound, yeah. we have to have a congregate site. Um, those are people for people who can leave their home. So then to be able to deliver meals to people who cannot leave, we need both programs. Does that make sense? Yeah, I just wanted say that with my dad um the meals on wheels is coming two times a week and we still provide a lot of the food base for him but it helps us to relieve some of the daily things for plus um mm -hmm. rob comes in and does a little chit chat with them too and makes us feel comfortable that i mean it's it's really nice when you're, you have an older elderly person all by himself at home Supervisor Pease. Kelly, what are the kind of mileage is compared to for one of these vehicles compared to the vehicles you're currently using? Is it a little bit less? Kyle, is that something you can answer? Yeah. Madam Chair, I believe it is a few miles per gallon lower than the Malibus. We looked at the Malibus, they were about 35, and then the Terrains were like 25 to 28, I believe. One of the issues we were having with the Malibus is um, they are not very large. So some in some instances, it is harder for older people, um, people who may have a disability, or heavy people to get in and out of the Malibus because they are so low um, and they are, they are uncomfortable. We have, do we have a motion to accept either of these bids? I'll make a motion to accept the bid. I'll second. Okay. Motion by Beaversdorf, second by Grabarski to purchase the vehicles. All in favor? Oh, you might want to Yeah. I I was just going to say further discussion. <laughs> we got Mr. Dozel over here. Super welcome. Milo, that's a question. <laughs> so, with the vehicle uh, usage, uh, you said that it's for transports and meals on wheels, things of that nature. Is that something that's kept at HHS and checked in and out every day, or is that a personal vehicle? Um, so the vehicles, we have a fleet vehicle reservation system. Um, right now, we keep three vehicles in our building, and then we keep an additional three for the community center. Um, if we are able to secure some additional vehicles, we will also keep a vehicle over on practical sense. Um, and these are not personal vehicles. Everyone has to check one out, check it back in, um, and then there's a priority usage based on distance and purpose of the travel. Thank you. Supervisor Keys. I guess I'm kind of confused on, there's two different quotes here. So did somebody identify which quote we're going with, Kyle? I mean, not, not in the moment. 
That's not in the motion, correct? So, right, we would need a motion to accept from the uh, lowest bidder, which would be Mapleton. That's what I guess what I was looking. Nobody designated that, yeah. that. Thanks. I'll remember that. I can't keep your eye on so. Unless you're a moment of the two bids. We have a second on the amendment. They accept the lower bid. Carlson seconds. Okay, we have a motion to amend to accept the lower bid by Grabarski and a second by Carlson. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I abstain. I'm pretty sure that was Josh. There is no further discussion. Of accepting the lower bid. Pardon? Why do we uh, address the, the chair? Do you have a question? Or yes. Go ahead. Um, so is this a zero sum? Uh, you've got you get here with how many? Five or eight vehicles? And, and are you replacing five vehicles? <laughs> Three vehicles, so you're going to have five more than what you had before. Before, okay. you're purchasing eight vehicles. How many do you have now? Kelly, go ahead and answer, please. So, this has been something that's been in our capital budget. We have six currently, we were looking to have 10, I believe, in the budget crack pile in our capital. Um, so we would be looking to add eight. Of the new GMC terrains and then selling three Malibus. Right. So replacing how many? We would be replacing. Oh my gosh, this is like hard math. I'm a social worker. Okay. <laughs> uh, we would be getting rid of three. three. You're keeping three. And so you're adding an additional four. Oh, we're, 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 adding eight. we're replacing three or three of those so we're going to she's going to end up with 11 if i'm not mistaken and right now you have six. six okay and what was the reason we needed additional vehicles uh we're asking we were looking for additional vehicles because currently um, the amount of travel that is occurring in our building, we still have staff who are claiming mileage because we don't have enough vehicles to meet the demand for our home visits and, and that sort of travel. So people are using their own vehicles. Yeah. And does meal and wheels cover the whole county? Yeah. Thank you. Anything else right now? Okay. We have a motion to approve the purchase of these vehicles at the lower price. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, opposed? Abstain. Let's go. Motion, motion Let's go. carried. There being no further discussion or items on the agenda, we will be in adjournment.